Somebody praise the Lord. If you are there, I said praise the Lord. What a glorious day. What a wonderful day. Today is going to be the solution to your problem. Somebody help me shout unforgettable. I can't hear your voice unforgettable. Unforgettable night of wonders. Wonders in your life. Wonders in your family. Wonders in every community. Wonders in our state. Wonders on this ground tonight. Miracles are coming your way. The power of God is coming your way. That long standing problem will vanish away. Wonders are coming. Where is it coming? I said wonders are coming. Where is it going to be tonight? Raise up that hand. Father in Jesus name. We lift you up tonight. We glorify you tonight. We know that you are mightily present here. And we know that you are still the same. Yesterday, today and forever. We know every mountain will move. We know as you parted the Red Sea that day, you are going to divide every sea before your people tonight in Jesus' name. Salvation has come. Healing has come. Miracle has come. Signs and wonders have come. And I pray that nobody will go back empty-handed in Jesus' name. Lord, we know you are able in your power and your strength, in your might and your grace. We know you are able. And we pray, Lord, you show your divine ability in every life tonight in Jesus' name. Make this night of unforgettable for everyone. We thank you because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. Another plateau state. Amen. God bless you. Something is going to happen in your life. I'm reading to you from the Acts of the Apostles. And I'm reading from chapter 2. Acts of the Apostles chapter 2. Here verse 22. He says, ye men of Israel, hear these words. And I come to you to say the people of Plateau State, hear these words. If you have any challenge in your life, hear these words. If you have a mountain you cannot climb, hear these words. A river you cannot cross, hear these words. If there's a demonic part that is battling with your life and you can't be free, hear these words tonight. If you're looking for an unforgettable night, a glorious night, a power pack night, hear these words. It says, Jesus of Nazareth. A man approved of God among you by miracles and wonders and signs which God did by him in the midst of you. As ye yourselves also know, the Lord is telling us he sent Jesus Christ to this world. And when he came, he came with power. He came with anointing. He came with the supernatural. The supernatural that touched everyone that met him. And then he reminded the children of Israel. As he's reminding you tonight. That Jesus Christ of Nazareth. He was approved of God. By mighty signs and wonders. By miracles. And those miraculous powers. They're still available today. The wonder of salvation. The wonder of deliverance. The wonder of freedom. And the wonder of healing. That wonder is coming to your life tonight. Where is the person I'm talking about today? Wonder of all wonders. A miracle is coming your way. 
But you know what? That Jesus manifested the power. Yes, His glorious power. His irresistible power. All round supernatural power. After Jesus manifested that, he went back to heaven. Ah, you say what's going to happen now? After Jesus had gone back to heaven, look at verse 43 of that same chapter I'm reading to you. It says, and fear came upon every soul. And many wonders and signs were done by the apostles. Many signs and wonders were done by the apostles. Jesus had disciples, apostles following after him. And they saw him. He opened the eyes of the blind. They saw him. He made the lame to walk. They saw him. He saved the sinner. They saw him. He forgave the people that were guilty. And they were wondering what's going to happen when Jesus goes back to heaven. As Jesus was going back to heaven, that same power he gave to his apostles. That name that solves every problem he gave to his disciples. That anointing by which he broke every yoke he gave to his apostles. And that same authority and that same word that carries power he gave to his own disciples. And even though he's gone to heaven we are told in that verse 43 and there came upon every soul and many wonders many wonders somebody help me shout many wonders I can tell your voice many wonders wonders over there wonders over there wonders over there look at that look at that wonders over there Many wonders and signs, many wonders and miracles were done, were performed by the apostles. He has handed over that power to us. That same power that he manifested, he has given to us today. And he says, go ye into all the world and preach this same gospel. The gospel of power, gospel of salvation, gospel of healing, gospel of deliverance, gospel of freedom, gospel of signs and wonders. Go preach it everywhere. And as we preach that, he says, this shall, shall follow them that believe. I'm a believer tonight. How about you? I'm a believer tonight. I said, how about you? I can't hear your voice. If you believe tonight, signs and wonders will run after you. Signs and wonders will catch up with you. This will be for you. The unforgettable night of supernatural wonders. How can we be so sure? Because we are told in Acts of the Apostles chapter 10. Here in verse 38. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. Who went about doing good. Who went about doing good. It's coming your way tonight. I said it's coming your way tonight. He will do good in your life. He will save your soul. He will heal your sickness. He will deliver from oppression. He will set you free. Every chain that binds you. Tonight, the Lord is going to cut off that chain from your life. Deliverance has come. He went about doing good. And you know what? Jesus Christ the same. Yesterday. Today. And forever. Tonight in your life, that same power will break your yoke. That same power will save your soul. That same power will deliver you. That same power tonight will set you free. Wonder of all wonders that you will receive a miracle. I said you will receive a miracle. 
What is he there? What is she there? Miracle is coming your way. And they were told, healing all that were oppressed of the devil. Healing all that were oppressed of the devil. For God was with him. I and my father are one. The father is never separated from him. That's why power is never separated from him. And that power is coming your way tonight. I said that power is coming your way tonight. Wonder of all wonders. Tonight is the night of your miracle. The night of unforgettable wonders. I'm talking to you tonight on the subject the unforgettable wonders of Christ. The unforgettable wonders of Christ. What's a wonder? A wonder is a miracle. Something coming from heaven that you wonder at. That you wonder how could that happen? That you wonder how could that take place? That you wonder how could that come in your life? Something that brings amazement. Something that brings astonishment. Something that you wonder at. That you say, I never knew something like that could happen. And tonight is the night. The night when heaven comes upon your soul there. The night when power comes upon your life there. And you will wonder. And the people that see you. They will wonder how did that happen? A night of unforgettable wonders. Give me a good plateau state. Amen. Unforgettable. What does that mean? Something you keep on remembering. I was so sick. I was near death and the power of God came from heaven and raised me up. I'll never forget the day. I'll never forget the time. I'll never forget the power that came and raised me up. Something unforgettable in your life. A wonder unforgettable in your life. Above it all. Salvation. Salvation. You see there are people they just say, I'm saved, I'm saved. And I ask them, when were you saved? What day were you saved? They say, well, I don't remember. But ah, if you were saved, it will be an unforgettable experience in your life. A day when the grace of God came to your life. A day when your guilt was rolled away. A day when forgiveness came. A day when the joy of salvation penetrated your life. You cannot forget that salvation is coming tonight. Somebody there said that salvation is coming tonight. Unforgettable. You cannot forget how you repented. You will not forget how you believed on the Lord. You will not forget how grace came to your life. Unforgettable. Somebody shout unforgettable. Unforgettable wonders in your life tonight in Jesus' name. The unforgettable wonders of Christ. Christ is unique. Christ is lifted up. There are things only Christ can do in your life. There are things Christ can do and nobody else on earth can do. The salvation of your soul. The forgiveness of your sin. Taking you to enter the gate of life. And taking your hand and leading you to heaven. Things only Christ can do. That an angel cannot do. Things only Christ can do. That a prophet cannot do. Things only Christ can do. That religion cannot do. There are things in your life. Coming from heaven. That only Christ can do. That's why I contemplate you that you are here tonight. Because the unforgettable wonders of Christ will come to your life. And my people, have, uh, you, they are tired of saying amen. Another Plato State, amen.
personal, personal. Now, the one you say from the depth of your heart, another personal. Amen. Amen. We're talking about the unforgettable wonders of Christ tonight. There are three things we're looking at. Number one, the unlimited wonders of our Savior. Unlimited wonders of our Savior. When somebody has told you everything that he thinks Christ can do, you go another step. When somebody has told you every miracle Christ has performed, you go another high. When somebody has told you the greatest of blessings they have received, you go another length because Christ, the Savior, is unlimited. The unlimited wonders of of our Savior. Tonight, every limit will be taken out of your life. Limitation and lost are cancelled tonight in your life. Unlimited salvation. Unlimited freedom. Unlimited miracle. Unlimited healing. Unlimited deliverance. Unlimited power. Unlimited anointing that breaks every yoke in your life. The unlimited wonders of our Savior. Number two, the unforgettable wonder of his salvation. The unforgettable wonder of his salvation. Of all the blessings of God. Of everything coming from heaven you can have. Salvation is number one. Because a salvation that gives you peace and joy over here. And it is salvation that gives you life eternal. It gives you victory on earth. And it gives you triumph until you get to heaven. It's a special wonder. And it is the unforgettable wonder of his salvation. Thank God is coming your way tonight. Thank God you are going to receive tonight. Stay there, stay there. Don't go away. Because heaven has something for you tonight. You will have it. I said you will have it. I said you will have it. Number three. The uncountable wonders of healing sicknesses. Uncountable wonders of healing sicknesses. All the sicknesses that are presented here tonight. Over there to my right. Wonder. Over there in my front. Wonder. Over there to my left, wonders. At the back over there, those who are near the gate, wonders tonight. I said wonders tonight. And you will be part of the number. Say, I will be part of the number. Heaven will count you tonight. Glory will count you tonight. The power of God will count you tonight as a receiver. Uncountable wonders of healing sicknesses. He will reach you. He will touch you. Number one. Not there. Number one. Number one. The unlimited wonders of our Savior. The unlimited wonders of our Savior. I'm coming to Luke chapter 4. And I'm reading from verse 18. Luke chapter 4. I'm reading from verse 18. Luke chapter 4 verse 18. It says, the spirit of the Lord is upon me. Because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted. To preach deliverance to the captives. And recovering of sight to the blind. And to set at liberty them that are bruised. And to preach and to declare. 
and to preach and to proclaim and to preach and to affirm the acceptable year of the Lord and he closed the book and he gave it again to the minister and sat down and the eyes of all them that were in the synagogue were passing upon him and he began to say unto to them, this day Yo. is this scripture fulfilled in your ears. Tonight is the night of fulfillment. This day, I said this day, somebody assist me this day. Somebody shout more than I can this day. The day of wonders in your life. The day of power in your life. The day of turning around in your life. Look at this. The unlimited wonders of our Savior. And see what he says he's going to do. It's wonders. Unlimited. It's wonders that cannot stop. It's wonders flowing to your life tonight. Look at verse 18. It says, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. That gives us the reason why. Because the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost is a spirit of power, a spirit of anointing, and spirit of function. And that's the power that makes everything possible. That only goes to say tonight. The spirit of the Lord is upon me. Look at this, look at this, because he has anointed me to proclaim, to preach the gospel to the poor. A change will come your circumstance tonight. Tears will be wiped away. Sorrow will be taken away. Suffering will be taken away. All the poverty, I don't have anything to eat. Prosperity is coming your way. I don't have enough surplus and abundance is coming your way. Don't you remember what Jesus said? The thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. And he says, I am come that you may have life. What is the person going to have life? There? That you will have life. And that you will have it more abundantly. Abundant life has come. Because Christ has been anointed so that he can preach the gospel, the good news to the poor. If the situation of the poor does not change, there's no good news. If God does not answer the prayer of the poor, there's no good news. But the good news, the gospel is this. That the power of God is coming in your life tonight. And it's going to roll away everything that kept you down all these many years in Jesus' name. He has sent me to heal the broken hearted. If your heart is broken, the Lord is going to heal your broken heart. Emotionally, you are drained. The Lord is going to heal your emotion. Psychologically, you are confused. The Lord is going to set everything right. You are walking in darkness. I can see this way. I can see that way. But tonight, everything that has broken your heart, a miracle of restoration, a miracle of recovery, a miracle of total redemption is coming your way tonight in Jesus' name. You will receive. I said you will receive. Who am I talking about there? I said who am I talking about there? I rejoice with you tonight. You will heal your broken heart. The condition of your wife that breaks your heart. The condition of your husband that breaks your heart. The condition of your family that breaks your heart. The condition of your loved one that breaks your heart. The Lord is going to change that condition tonight. He will change that condition. Tonight. And then he says to preach deliverance. Yeah. 
to the captives. There are people who are bound and they are in captivity to bad habits. You are drinking, you cannot help it. You are smoking, you cannot help it. You are into whatever, you cannot help it. Help has come for you tonight. And then those who are bound with chains of insanity, of madness, total deliverance has come tonight. And the Lord is going to deliver the captive tonight in Jesus' name. And then he says, and the recovering of sight to the blind. Recovering of sight to the blind. If you find any blind person near you there, by your side there, and after we pray, you check up on them, those blind eyes will open. Tonight is the night. I said tonight is the night. Your blind eyes will open. Your dim eyes will open. Your left legs will rise up and walk. Your withered hand will come alive. Because tonight we have unlimited wonders on this ground. And then it said to set at liberty them that are bruised. Liberty. Libration, restoration, coming to everyone tonight. I rejoice with you because tonight is the night is going to happen. And he said to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. That the year of release, the year of jubilee. It's the year of celebration, the year of jubilation. And it's the year of freedom. Freedom has come for you. And then Jesus said, This this day, this day, this day, is this scripture fulfilled in your ears? The fulfillment has come for you tonight. I said the fulfillment has come for you tonight. The Lord will do it in Jesus' name. That's number one. And everything you hear tonight is going to be fulfilled in your life. Number one will be fulfilled in your life. I can't hear amen. But Number two will be fulfilled in your life. Uh, you know, there are people that say, I've got number one, I'm going back home. It's like I've got food, I've not taken water, I'm going back home. Everything Jesus died to provide for you on Calvary, you're having tonight. Now, point number two you will have this one. Say for yourself, you will have this one. As I say for yourself, you will have this one. Point number two, the unforgettable wonder of his salvation. The unforgettable wonder of his salvation. If there's any blessing you ought to have, this should be number one on your list. If there's anything you ought to be sure about, you must be sure of this one. Because can I tell you something? Certificate that you have cannot take you to heaven. Can I tell you something? Your beauty cannot take you to heaven. Can I tell you something? Your church cannot take you to heaven. Can I tell you something? Your infant baptism cannot take you to heaven. Can I tell you something? Taking holy communion cannot take you to heaven. Can I tell you something? Giving money to beggars cannot take you to heaven. Can I tell you something? I am good, I am good. Your good words cannot take you to heaven. There's just one thing. There's just one thing that can take you to heaven. Before I tell you, you know that healing cannot take you to heaven. You may be the most healthy person on the face of the earth. That cannot take you to heaven. You may be as strong as something. 
that cannot take you to heaven. You know that your power cannot take you to heaven. Physical power, occultic power, intelligent power, whatever it is, cannot take you to heaven. There's just one thing that can take you to heaven. You know that just coming here to the crusade cannot take you to heaven. There's just one thing that will take you to heaven. It is the salvation that Christ brought from heaven to give to your soul. That's the reason why this salvation is so important. The unforgettable wonder of his salvation. The unforgettable wonder of his salvation. I'm looking at Luke chapter 19. I'm reading here from verse 1. And Jesus entered and passed through Jericho. Tonight, Jesus has entered Jos. And he will find you. And you will find him. Look at verse 2. And behold, there was a man named Zacchaeus, which was chief among the publicans, and he was rich. But he came to realize his riches cannot take him to heaven. His wealth cannot take him to heaven. Everything he could buy with money cannot take him to heaven. And he knew if I'm going to get to heaven, which is eternal, which is everlasting, which is unending, which is endless, and you'll be there forever and ever. On earth, the riches can only help your 70 or 100 years. And he said, if I'm going to get to heaven, I know riches cannot help me. My contacts cannot help me. My friends cannot help me. I must get salvation from Jesus. And thank God tonight, that salvation is here for you. Where are you? I said that salvation is here for you. Where are you? I said that salvation is here for you. And so he wanted to see Jesus. And then we're told in verse 4. And he ran before. And he climbed up into a sycamore tree to see him. For it was to pass that way. And when Jesus came to the place, he looked up. He knows where standing tonight. He knows where you're sitting tonight. He knows where you're lying tonight. He knows your position tonight. He knows where you are tonight. And that place where you are tonight, he will reach you there. I said he will reach you there. And his salvation will come to you there tonight in Jesus' name. And when Jesus came to the place, he looked up and he saw him and said unto him, Zacchaeus, he even knew his name. Thank God he knows my name. Thank God he knows my name. I said, Thank God he knows my name. And if you will come to him tonight and make a connection between your name and the name of Jesus, it is that connection between your name and the name of Jesus and you carry yourself, your, your heart, your soul, your mind, every part of you, and you come to Christ, and you link up with Christ tonight, you turn away from sin, you turn to the Savior, you turn away from your wickedness, and you turn to his salvation, you turn away from darkness, and you turn to the light, the connection tonight, the repentance tonight, the faith in Christ tonight, will bring salvation to you. Somebody there salvation has he called his name Zacchaeus. And he's calling your name. What's your name? I said, What's your name? I said, What's your name? Heaven will call your name tonight. Make haste and come down. For today I must abide at thy house. You are taking the Savior back home tonight. You are taking the Redeemer back home tonight. You are taking your redemption back home tonight. And he made haste and he came down and received him joyfully. 
And when they saw it, the old Mohammed saying that he was going to be guest to a man with a man that's a sinner. You know, they called him sinner. They didn't call themselves sinners. The Bible says, Son of sin that comes short of the glory of God. And you have no right to accuse another person, to condemn another person. All have sin that comes short of the glory of God. It wasn't only Zacchaeus that was a sinner. He only realized. And he knew he could not save himself. If you are like Zacchaeus tonight, salvation will come to you. I said if you are like Zacchaeus tonight, salvation will come to you. Because once you realize, not only that he called him sinner, he called himself sinner. And he said, I come. I come as a sinner. And I come to the Savior. I turn away from my sin. And I come to the Savior. That salvation will be yours tonight. I've lost your amen there. Verse 8. And Zacchaeus stood and said unto the Lord, Behold, Lord, half of my goods I give to the poor. And if I have taken anything from any man by false accusation, I restore him fourfold. Somebody said, I can't understand that. Let me explain to you. Somebody had, um, you know, 100 naira. And now he took that 100 naira from somebody else. He he stole from this, he stole from this, he stole from that. All he could steal was only a hundred naira. And then somebody came from the richest country in the whole universe. And offered him a million naira. Million. 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 He was so happy. He looked at the hundred that he had stolen. He said, what am I doing with this hundred? I give them back to the people I stole from. Because now I have a million. Heaven is coming upon your soul. Salvation is coming upon your soul. It's the greatest blessing you can have. The salvation of the Lord is so great. It's so mighty that all this hundred naira you are stolen or the other thing, whatever it is, you return them to the owners because what you've got now is multiplied, multiplied, multiplied fold of what you have stolen. You've got Christ, you've got everything. You've got salvation, you've got everything. You've got eternal life, you've got everything. You've got the joy of salvation, you've got everything. You've got redemption, you've got everything. You've got righteousness, you've got everything. You've got a place in heaven, you've got everything. And the man was so happy. Look at all that I've got. If I have Jesus, what am I doing with this? He returned all those things to the, uh, to the lawful, legitimate owners. The same thing you will do. I said the same thing you will do. I said the same thing you will do. If you have such a great, great, unlimited blessing, all the other things you stolen from other people, just return to them because I've got something that, you know, I would not replace with any other thing. And then in verse 9, Jesus said unto him, This day is salvation comes. Come to this house. There's a heart there. Salvation is coming there. I said there is a person there. Salvation is coming there. There's somebody there is repenting already. Somebody is turning to the Lord already. Somebody is having Jesus to be saved already. Somebody is saying, like Zacchaeus came and he had salvation, I come. I come out of my sin. I come to the Savior. 
Savior. I come out of my evil. I come to the Savior. I come out of my wickedness. I come to my Savior. I come out of occultism. I come to the Savior. And you know what he said? Whosoever comes unto me. Whosoever comes unto me. I will in no wise cast out. You are coming tonight. I said you are coming tonight. Heaven is drawing you. The Holy Ghost is drawing you. Jesus is drawing you. And as you come tonight, salvation will get to you right there. Forgiveness will come to you right there. And Jesus said this day is salvation come to this house. For as much as he also is the son of Abraham. For the son of man is come to seek and to save that which was lost. Salvation came to him. Salvation has come to you. I said salvation has come to you. I, I was waiting for you. Amen. That's why I'm repeating that. You have got it tonight in Jesus' name. Number one, the unlimited wonders of our Savior. Number two, the unforgettable wonder of his salvation. Number three, the uncountable wonders of healing sicknesses. Uncountable wonders. Somebody say uncountable wonders. And the Lord will count you tonight. This one has got healed. This one has got healed. Your own is the next now. I've seen blind eyes open. You are the next person. I've seen the limb rising up and walking. You are the next person. I've seen the deaf and dumb receiving their hearing. And their speech. And thank God you are the next person. Look at that person with the big tummy that had tumor. Everything was totally removed. And you are the next person tonight. Who is the next person? Who will be the next to receive healing, to receive deliverance, to receive freedom from every chain and every yoke? You are the next person, it will happen. The uncountable wonders of healing sicknesses. Luke chapter 4. I'm reading from verse 40 and from verse 41. Luke chapter 4 verse 40 Now when the sun was set All day that had any sick or diverse diseases Brought them unto him And he laid his sons on every one of them And healed them Every one of them and healed them. Every one of them. And healed them. Every one of you. And heals you. I said, everyone here tonight. Look at him there. You rise up your wall. Look at him there. Your blind eyes will open. Look at her there. That is your blood will vanish away. Look at her there. The weakness will vanish away. Look at him. The chain that binds you will be loose tonight. Every one of them, every one of us tonight, miracle of healing, every one of us tonight, miracle of deliverance is coming everywhere to my right healing, to my front healing, at my back healing, on my left healing, to the man healing, to the woman healing. It, it were told he healed every one of them. Look at, look at verse 41. This is beautiful. And the devils also came out of many. Crying out and saying, Thou art Christ the Son of God. Thou art Christ the Son of God. You will know him to be the Son of God tonight. Because power is touching your life. Power is touching your life. Anointing is breaking your yoke. And that yoke will be broken your life in Jesus' name. Incurable diseases are going to be healed. Mountains are going to move away. Impossibilities are going to be possible. There's going to be a shout of joy there. Shout of hallelujah there. 
shout of deliverance there and shout of freedom there miracle miracle where now i said where it's over there to reach you in jesus name look at luke chapter 9 luke chapter 9 then verse 1 then he called his 12 disciples together and gave them power and authority over all devils how many kind of devils I said, how many kinds of devils? Over all devils. And to cure diseases. The power is here tonight. It's in the name of Jesus. And once I mention the name of Jesus, whatever your sickness, whatever your infirmity, whatever your problem, that thing is going away tonight. I said, that thing is going away tonight. He gave them power. He gave them authority. He's giving us power. He's giving us authority. And that authority is still the same. His gifts are without repentance. And what he did before is still able to do today. And he's going to do it in your life. Look at, look at verse 2. And he sent them to preach the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. He sent them to preach. To proclaim, to declare, and then to heal the sea. Thank God tonight is your night. Look at verse 6. In verse 6 it says, And they departed and went through the towns, preaching the gospel and healing everywhere. Tell me where you got it tonight. You receive yours tonight. You will not go home empty-handed tonight. Healing has come. Deliverance has come. Miracle has come. Signs and wonders have come. You will be a partaker tonight. What is a partaker there tonight? I said, what is a partaker there tonight? It's coming your way. Luke chapter 10. In Luke chapter 10, I'm reading from verse 17. And the 17 returned again with joy. And the 70 returned again with joy. There is joy here tonight. In your heart over there, there is joy tonight. In your life over there, there is joy tonight. In your family over there, there is joy tonight. The joy of salvation. The joy of healing. The joy of deliverance. Everywhere on this field tonight. At the power of God will come to you. And the power of God will reach you there. Joy, joy, joy tonight. And the seventy returned again with joy. Saying, Lord, even the devils are subject unto us through thy name. And he said unto them, I beheld Satan as a lightning fall from heaven. And behold, I give unto you power. What are you having tonight? Behold, I give unto you power. Any weakness remaining there tonight? Any sickness remaining there tonight? Any infirmity remaining there tonight? Any sorrow remaining there tonight? Any tears remaining there tonight? Powerlessness remaining there tonight? Hopelessness remaining there tonight? Uh -uh. Behold, I give unto your power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. And nothing shall by any means hurt you. Somebody shout, Amen. Notwithstanding in this rejoice not that the spirits are subject unto you, but rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven. When your sins are forgiven tonight, you will write your name in the book of life in heaven. When you have salvation tonight, eternal life tonight, when you turn away from your sin tonight and you turn to the Savior, your name, Daruta. tell me that name again. Your name, Sunarka. I said, tell me that name again. Sunarka. Have you forgotten your name? I said, tell me the name again. Sunarka. 
that name will get to the book of life tonight. He says rejoice. He says rejoice. That's joy of salvation. He says rejoice. That's the joy of forgiveness. He says rejoice. That's the joy of freedom. He says rejoice. That's the joy you come into the family of God. Because your names are written in heaven. Your time has come. I said your time has come. I said your time has come. Number one, unlimited wonders of our Savior. Number two, unforgettable wonder of his salvation. Number three, uncountable wonders of of healing sicknesses. And tonight you are going to receive. And tonight you are going to receive. And tonight you are going to receive. It's bowed and eyes closed. Wonderful night for you. This is your night. I said this is your night. Unforgettable night of his wonder upon your life. It's bowed and eyes closed. If you want that salvation, the number one of all blessings, if you want that salvation, the number one of all wonders, if you want that salvation, the wonder that will take you from earth to heaven, if you want that salvation, and you know that this is the moment of your salvation, you're going to turn away from sin, and you're turning to the Savior. You're saying, Lord, I come. Lord, I come. Lord, I come. Lord, I come. You will write my name in the book of life tonight. If you want that salvation, wherever you are, it's coming your way right now. You raise up your hand wherever you are. And the Lord will see your hand. He'll write your name. He'll write your name. He'll write your name, write your name in the book of life. Where are you? Where are you? You raise up that hand. You're saying, Lord, I want your salvation. Lord, I want your forgiveness. Lord, I want that change of heart. Lord, I want that change of life. Eternal life. Eternal life. Eternal life. That's what I want tonight. Wherever you are, you raise up your hand. On my right over there, in front of me over here, and to the left over here, at the back over there, near the gate over there, wherever you are, you want the salvation of the Lord. And you want the Lord to take your sin away. You raise up your hand wherever you are. Where are you? That salvation has come. I said that salvation has come. If you are raising up your hand, you will stand up. Wonderful. You are raising up your hand, you will stand up. This is a choice you have to make. There is your own decision. This is the ticket to heaven. This is the most important thing in your life tonight. It will take you from earth to heaven. Wherever you are, you want the salvation of the Lord. This forgiveness of the Lord. This redemption that Jesus died on the cross of Calvary to give you. You raise up here and you stand up. As you stand up, mention your name to the Lord. Say, Lord, I'm like Zacchaeus. I know I'm a sinner. I want your forgiveness. Tell him, tell him. Tell the Lord. Let him hear your voice. Let him hear your voice. He wants to forgive you. He wants to turn your life around. He wants to redeem your life. He wants to bring you salvation tonight. Tell him right there. Be sincere. Tell him all the sins have been committed. I'll not go back to them anymore. Forgive me. Grant me your grace. Grant me the power to live a righteous life from tonight. All the immorality, I will not go back there. All the smoking, Lord, help me, I will not go back there. All the drunkenness, Lord, help me, I will not go back there. All the evil, wickedness, help me, Lord, I will not go back there. Lord, help me tonight. Open your mouth and tell the Lord. Open your mouth and tell the Lord. Say, Lord, I repent. I come out of my sin. I drop everything. I take Jesus as my Savior tonight. I take Jesus as my Lord tonight. Tell him, tell him, tell him. He'll forgive you. He'll forgive you. Whosoever will call on the name of the Lord, he will answer. He will save you.
It will save you. It will forgive you. It will turn everything around in your life tonight. Tell him. Tell him. Lord, I come. Lord, I come. I come into your salvation now. Out of darkness, into your life. Out of sin, into your salvation. Out of evil, I come to my Redeemer. Keep on standing. I'll pray with you now. Keep on standing. I'll pray with you now. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this glorious day, the glorious moment of salvation. You have said, whosoever shall come on the name of the Lord shall be saved. They have called upon you. They have turned away from their sin. Lord, forgive them in Jesus' name. Clean up their lives. Forgive all their sins. Change their habits. And keep them eternal life right now. Let the joy of salvation come to them. Joy of forgiveness come to them. And the joy of your redemption come to them. Confirm each and every soul right now. Thank you because we know you have answered. In Jesus name we pray. Another amen. Tonight is an unforgettable night. I, I see you standing up already. Because you are going to catch a miracle now. Power is coming from heaven. Miracles are coming from heaven. Deliverance coming from heaven. Your healing coming to you right there. You are, the, you are the one that has the final say. Because heaven has provided. Christ has provided. The grace of God is for everybody. The wonders, the signs, and the healings are for everybody. And when you say, yes, Lord, I receive. It is yours immediately. Somebody there, you have testimony tonight. Somebody there said you have testimony tonight. That sickness will vanish away. That infirmity will vanish away. That sickness will be healed tonight. Tonight is the terminal point of that disease in your life. We are going to pray now. And the prayer is just a confirmation of what God has done already. He knows your name. He knows your need. And he has brought the solution, the healing, the deliverance to your situation today. And when we say the final amen, check up yourself. You'll find the miracle is there already. Or are you there? You raise up one hand. You lay the other hand where you have the challenge, the problem, the sickness. And the Lord will rule everything away tonight. Raise up your hand. Remember after the final amen. Check up yourself. It is done. Father in Jesus name. We thank you tonight. A loving God. A mighty God. A God that cannot fail. Your people have come to you tonight. And I pray that to touch everyone in Jesus name. I pray Lord this will be the night. Night of unforgettable wonders. The wonder of healing in every life in Jesus name. The wonder of miracle in every life in Jesus name. The wonder of deliverance in every life in Jesus name. To the right. To the left. And in the front. And in the back. Healing. Deliverance. Miracle. Signs and wonders. Confirm each everywhere. We know you have done it. We thank you because we know it is done. In Jesus mighty name I pray. It has happened. Check up yourself. Check up yourself. Check up yourself. Check up yourself. You are blind. Open your eyes and start seeing. You are blind, open your eyes and start seeing. You are lame, you are no more lame. Jump out of the wheelchair. Take yourself. The incurable disease is gone. The Lord has done it. I say the Lord has done it.
Wherever you are now, what we are not able to do before, start doing it right now. And as you start doing it, you start coming out here to give your testimony. If you brought a blind person, yes, I can see the shout there already. I can see the shout there already. Yes, start coming out. Start coming out. Check yourself there. Start coming out. The blind are seeing. The lame are walking. The lame are walking. Those who are paralyzed, they are set free. Cancer gone. Diabetes gone. Paralysis gone. You can see it over there. Start coming out. Come out so that you can be interviewed and you'll be giving chance to give your testimony. We start listening now to testimony. Praise our Jesus. Amen. Praise the living God. Uh, this one, uh, his name is Moonshark Emmanuel. The problem started June 2016. When he came back from school, well, let, can I just look out or let me go? Speak your language, uh, they will interpret. So, when he, the other, the Gamakaranta, said, the man, yeah, that location, she said, that location, that's a bit of a jute. And you want to know a wooding. Then you want to know a wooding, yeah, that's a muscle. The other Samusoki say Azo Yazo Gida Yana using wheelchair. The wheelchair thing say Yadan Samusoki say Fara and Fanny the crutches. I'm not the chicken and Fanny the wedding and Sanduna. I quit Zafi Domain Muzona Mayana Magana Zafin. Kuma Baze here interfere without wedding and Sanduna. So the Anche Yaya do a domicheto. Sena gani ya biya tashi ase. Don't tut azuna cheme shi atashi ase. Na. Be tashi ba. Tonda be tashi ba. Da ana magana cheto che. Wa wende ena so ya ba da ron sa. Se ya. Sa hanu sa asama. Se ya biya tashi ase. Da. Da ya tashi. Sena chema ubangi jina ugo de maka. Tonda ya tashi ase. Din. Anfara aduwa ngwarka suwa. Sena gani ya tashi. Sana chemisto, kaita fia, sana gani yaita fia babu, sandu namba. Nache to zafu kafamba, yache ba zafu kafamba, yanzu bari ya magana dakashi, zafu kafamba. Babu, to kaita fia. Praise the Lord. Amen. The boy's name is Meshak Emmanuel since June. 2016, he had a problem after returning from school and it affected his leg. He was taken to Jude, where he was treated, and later he ended up sitting on wheelchair. But uh, later, he started using the crutches, and then from the crutches, he had sharp pain, and not even move freely leg. But to the glory of God, when the altar was made, the mother said, he gave his life to Christ, and after the ministration of the man of God, you can see how he praise the Lord. Sanumu ya nuwa chikin sunan Yesu. Sunana Andrew Mahai. Daga Adama. Na hii shekara uku yao da kwa na goma. Kapa na baya. Tafia ingi ina chaka wa kapa na ina chiwo. Na aje asibiti anche chiwo nsenye. Antura ni nje ni x-ray. Na aje na hii x-ray kuma sunduba sunche bako wa mai. Kana lafia. Ni kuma na asa abunde eke damu na. Nada gida bana iya bati kafa na chiyo sena daga shizuwa sama. Argaria wa eka fin inji soki. To ana ananda ga adama ana dao na zo nang jos. To wana maten ero ana ne teche akwe tarunda za ya na akwe ala ajibi da dama. Inyiko karimu zo. To shine muka zo da ite ya nzuki ya na muna chikin adua angama adua tana luna mi mwani kusada muwande ya samu te mako. Na tashi ina kallo kena na fara salle na chika fana ba koma ina samu warkarwa. Agode Allah. Hallelujah. 
You can see him walking freely. His name is Andrew Mahel from Askira in Adamawa State. He was here and he had this problem with his leg that he could not walk with it without pain and with sharp pain for three years, ten days. So he was in town and his brother wife invited him to the program. And after the prayer of the man of God, his legs can freely move and he, the pain all vanish. Praise the Lord. Gone forever. Yeah, Let's listen to the next testimony. Praise God. Hallelujah. This is my son. This is uh, uh, from uh, Kurugui. Since October last year, I went to Lagos. The spirit of madness made him to long from uh, his mother. Then the mother found him. He's not even get him. Before the person who, the, that's our people at Oka, they told me that if my, uh, my son is lost, that they saw him as one place. Then I went to bless him at Octo uh, in October 1918. So the spirit, why I know that this boy is here today? He can't even stand one step. He can't even stand, stand still without walking about. Without walking about. But today, now this night, he can stand one stand still. He can stand, stand still without walking about. So. Okay, Ebuka. Shout praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Louder. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. That spirit that was making him to walk about, move about, shake the body. Where is it now? Ebuka is set free. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. My name is Ayodele Caleb. And I was dead in my left ear for over 20 years. You know, my parents have done everything possible. They have spent, but all was just to no avail. And whenever I block my right ear, I will not be able to hear with my left ear. When people want to talk to me, I tend to, you know, turn my right ear to them so that I'll be able to hear them well. But today, after the prayer, I tell you, I can now hear with my left ear. Even when I block the right one, I can now hear with it. Praise the Lord. Okay, we are going to test you now. Close it, close it. Put it like this. All right. Amen. 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 Jesus. Hallelujah. God gave us two ears. Satan took away one. Tonight, the two ears are recovered. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 The two on Kafa, a man the Nazana Ji Adio in Nayo, who bended the other worker in the Chamas and our God. Hallelujah. Her name is Tala to Musa. For the last six years, she had diabetes with swollen legs, but after the prayer of the man of God, the leg has become normal. Amen. Six years diabetes, what happened to it? Forever gone. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Sunana ham set to gam the Gamikan local government Tunkus in the Akasa the Chio Tun November 2016. Now the high blood pressure, low blood pressure, we saw be yana demona, daga uncle na affecting one and gave an anuna, ya affecting suka for fuana, but then ya interfere by a binti said they are bani. Tun na na akasa. So on the Munzo yo, the Kerna zona motor na iso, na zona tabirgima ne mayo dina. Akasa atikin kura yo dina. Hanu nang nazo baren ya daga shiva. Ama yenzu na ya daga hanu. Kafo fuang kaso suan duka. Na au jisun warware. Kote na natashi na tefia. Jininde ya hau de yena sokang. Bana feeling kome. Everything jikina yenzu na. Kamansa ki ef. Kama yende dama amana ta efe nine. Muyabe ubengiji. Muyabe ubengiji. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Her name is Sam Statugam. She since 2016 she had been having high blood pressure and at times with low blood pressure and she has been sick all this while and even today she was in excruciating pain and she was just down she cannot even walk but after the prayer of the man of god the lord healed her she can even lift up her hand and her blood pressure and all the pains are gone amen praise the lord Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Lord. My name is Larry Stevens. Since last three years, I've been battling with something in my back. But after the ministry and the prayer of the man of God, the thing disappeared. And my baby was going, she's going to three years. She couldn't even stand. But after the prayers, you see she's even ready to walk now, to even run. Glory be to God. I return all the glory to God. Praise the Lord. We are being The next person. Praise the Lord. I've seen the wonders of the Lord doing right now. My name is Nenrod Gonsum Sati from Kanke. This is my elder brother standing here. For the past few weeks at home, he can't even walk from bathroom on his own. I used to back him before I bath him, then taking him back to the room. We heard of the man of God coming here. Then we were being invited. Even this morning, I back him before putting him inside the car. On reaching here, I back him before arranging a seat to him down there. After the prayer of a man of God, then he asked me, can he stand up? I say, can he stand? He said, yes. I said, let him try it. And he stood up. I was overjoyed. I thought as if he was joking. We keep on walking, walking. I see him not tired. That's why we say we have to come and testify. The Lord is good at all times. Thank you so much. Who is, is backing him now? Who is backing him now? Nobody. Nobody is free. I thank God. Hallelujah. when she Paul Marco the Tafia. For my yana kwanche, yana yazo taro de shi ya goye shine, de yazo maya sa uke shi ya goye, ama yanzu bayang aduwa mutumi ala kungani aseye yeke kamang itache, ka yiga ba malam gonti, J. Paul. Can you see him? Can you see him? Everybody shout power! Power eche, eco, eco.